In this video, we're going to be using angle relationships with parallel lines to solve for a variable. There are three steps we're going to go through. The first step is to find out whether the angles are congruent or supplementary. The second step is to write an equation. And our third step will be to solve that equation. So you notice with 3x minus 10 and 5x plus 30 that the two lines are angles in this case are same side interior angles. Now if you remember, same side interior angles are supplementary. That means that when we add them together, they should equal to 180 degrees. So 3x minus 10 plus 5x plus 30 is going to be equal to 180 degrees. To solve the equation, we're going to combine our like terms. 3x plus 5x gives us 8x. Minus 10 plus 30 gives us plus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. To finish solving the equation, we need to subtract 20 from both sides because that's a plus 20. We subtract 20 and we get 8x is equal to 180 minus 20 gives us 160 degrees. We need to get x by itself, it's 8 times x, so we divide both sides by 8, giving us x is equal to 20 degrees. Now that we know x is equal to 20 degrees, we can check our solution by substituting 20 into both of the values of x for both of the angles. So 3 times 20 minus 10 is 60 minus 10, and 60 minus 10 is 50. For the other angle, 5 times 20 plus 30 is 100 plus 30, which is 130. So this angle is 130 degrees, the other angle is 50 degrees, and 130 plus 50 is 180. That means x equals 20 is the correct solution. Here's a problem for you to try on your own. Please go ahead and work this problem out, pressing pause, and when you're ready to see the answer, go ahead and press play. For this problem, we notice that 2b minus 15 and 3b plus 25 are same side exterior angles, which means that they are supplementary. So if you add them together, they should equal 180 degrees. So 2b minus 15 plus 3b plus 25 is equal to 180 degrees. We combine our like terms. 2b plus 3b gives us 5b. Negative 15 plus 25 gives us plus 10 is equal to 180 degrees. If we subtract 10 from both sides, we get 5b is equal to 170. Divide both sides by 5 to get b by itself, and we get b is equal to 34. We should check the 34 back into both of the b values for the angles. So 2 times 34 minus 15, that's 68 minus 15, and 68 minus 15 gives us 53. So this angle is 53. For the other angle, we have 3 times 34 plus 25. 3 times 34 is 102 plus 25. 102 plus 25 is 127. And you'll note that 127 plus 53 is 180 degrees, so B equals 34 is indeed our solution. Here's another example. It's the exact same process, but in this case, you'll notice that the two angles are not supplementary. Go ahead and try this one out, pressing pause and press play when you're ready to see the answer. For this one, notice that 7y minus 24 and 3y plus 12 
are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are congruent, meaning that they are equal. So we end up with 7y minus 24 is equal to 3y plus 12. We have y's on both sides of the equation, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract the smaller amount of y's from both sides. 7y minus 3y leaves me with 4y minus 24 is equal to 3y minus 3y cancels, or is equal to 0. So all we have left on that side is 12. To solve the equation, we're going to add 24 to both sides, leaving us with 4y is equal to 24 plus 12 is 36. Divide both sides by 4, and we end up with y is equal to 9. We should check our solution by substituting 9 back into both of the y's in both of the angles, giving us 7 times 9 minus 24. That's 63 minus 24, and 63 minus 24 leaves us with 39. For the other angle, we have 3 times 9 plus 12, which is 27 plus 12, which is also 39. Both angles are congruent, which means that they are or rather, y is our solution. Here's one last one for you to try on your own. Go ahead and work it out, pressing pause, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. For this one, I got the two angles to be congruent because they are alternate exterior angles, and alternate exterior angles are congruent. So I got 8y plus 22 equals 11y minus 8. I decided to subtract 8y from both sides since 8y was the smaller amount of y's. And then I added 8 to both sides and divided both sides by 3 to get y is equal to 10. When I substituted the 10 back into both of the angles, I found out that it made both of the measures exactly the same, which means the two angles are congruent, which means we found the correct solution.